Okay, first you want to create an artboard that's 1000 by 1000. That's your safe zone dimension for uploading any image on social media. Once you have that, you want to take a picture of whatever you want to sketch or whatever you want to trace. Um, whether it's yourself, an animal, a family member, it doesn't matter. You can use any picture you want to use. I decided to use a picture of myself <laughs> because I do want to upload or update my personal um, profile picture and I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to do that. Ignore my face, that's just me being extra for the camera. Um, I thought it was a funny picture too. So once you have your dimensions and you have your image of whatever you're doing, you wanna go in and turn the opacity down to 40%. That's good. After that, you wanna make a new layer. You now have a base layer of your image and now you have a sketch layer. So I'm gonna click the, the paintbrush or the, the brush tool, go to sketch, and you wanna use the 6B pencil. All right. And before I get started, I do want to say I do not believe in stealing images or tracing other people's artwork. If it's an image of you, a picture you've taken yourself and you want to illustrate it, that's fine. That's cool. I advocate for that, but I don't advocate tracing other people's work or stealing anything from anyone else and claiming it as your own. All right. You want to zoom in and in this process, you don't have to be to, oops, I go ahead and turn it back up. In this process, you do not have to be super critical of the line work or where, we, where everything should be. Um, remember, this is just a sketch. All right, so now we have our little, our head sketch. We're only gonna use the head. We're not gonna worry about everything else around it. We wanna focus merely on the face. I kinda have an idea of what I want it to look like. I captured the features I wanna highlight. I don't have to do anything else from here. So now that we have our sketch, we can go ahead and turn this layer completely off. Now I had to make two layers because I had my head you know, my head sketch, which is my eyebrows, nose, mouth, beard, hair. Then I have my glasses on there as well. So I wanted to create two different layers so I can highlight those features. Everything is not packed on one layer. All right, so now that we have our sketch, um, what we can do is, uh, let's group these together. Group and then duplicate. Now we're gonna kind of zoom in a little bit because now we wanna make sure we highlight those, those edges. Um, wanna get real specific now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add another layer and this is considered your inking layer. And you can label these layers if you want. I typically don't label them, but it's up to you. Um, let's go to the brush right here. Now, I advise if you're open and procreate for the first time, I would recommend you use the studio pen to help sharpen those edges and clean up your image a lot. But I've downloaded a couple of brushes in the past and I use this brush called the Sushi Outliner. It gives this nice little rigid look. It's still clean and refined, but adds a little bit of texture to it. So this is my go-to brush when I'm doing anything as far as ink work. So now, Let's start to ink this thing. All right, so now we have our outline. 
And I think it looks pretty good. Um, I probably would go back over it again, do a second pass. But for the sake of the video, I'll just stick with what I have. Um, now that we have our darker outline, we can go ahead and just turn everything else, oops, turn everything else off below it. So we're gonna add another layer and we're gonna turn this into a reference layer. When you have a reference layer, anything you do with any other layer will react to whatever layer is being referenced, if that makes sense. Um, I probably can show you better than I can tell you. So here it goes. So if I wanna make my hair black, instead of actually putting the black in this layer, I can just put it in a blank reference layer and it reacts the same way, you know what I'm saying? So if I were to turn this off, you can tell where that reference layer was before I added the black. It just kind of helps with color and just layer control. Um, instead of putting everything on one layer, you can always, you know, use a reference layer to kind of help with that whole situation. Um, so yeah, I'm about to fill in all these colors and show you what I will do afterwards. So that's my face <laughs> as a cartoon, black and white. This is what you really need to start adding that color. You wanna have those linear lines to kind of separate the color. So now that we have my outline of my face, now I can go in and start adding some color. Do this to kind of let's make it gray so we won't get too confused with the white background so now we know what's what we have to fill in and what we have to change all right bet so we have our bases like this is our basic you know color layout skin tone white and I will go in and add highlights here and there but this is where you know the creative piece comes in because we're now literally freestyling it. We're not using any reference anymore. We're not using any, you know, no pictures. All this comes from just understanding color theory, lighting, um, shadows, hues, saturations. We're just working with that. I'm going to create a clipping mask over this colored area. And with the clipping mask, I can go in and start adding my shadows. So I typically go to multiply and I turn them down to about mm, 45. Then I select black as my shadow color. Using the same brush, I just go in and I kind of eyeball it how I want the shadows to play. So kind of have that shadow working with it, you know, working with me. And, you know, we're just gonna leave it at that. So now, I'm gonna do the same thing, add a clipping mask, but this time we're gonna do some highlights. We're gonna put some highlights in there. So you can use white, you can try to find a lighter tone of this brown, um, but me, I like to, use white and then use the color filter or the layer filter or blend mode is the right word. I like to use the blend mode, the overlay blend mode. And just add that light in there. I 
like I said, it's not perfect, but you know, it, it'll get the job done. And you can turn this down. If it becomes too harsh of a light, you can turn it down. Um, and sometimes I'll add a, you know, I'll add some, some color to, to the darker areas or darker parts of the image. So I may pick a weird color, whether it's like a pink or a blue or orange or something to kind of throw a little bit of, a little bit of color in there. Let's go with a, let's do like a little pink or something like that. And then we're gonna turn that opacity down. Kind of gives like this little rim lighting. a solid piece I think this is pretty cool um, there's a little bit more we have to do but this is kind of the gist of it all like you know we took a picture we literally took let me turn all this off we literally took this and turned it into that and we're almost finished. Thank you guys for locking in. I know this is a long video, but I wanted to make sure I can get everything across to you all. So whenever you decide to do something like this, you know, you can always refer back to this video. Um, okay, boom. So now let's turn this into a reference. And I want to create a new layer. You also can change the blend mode if you want, just to experiment to see what you get. Like, that's cool. Change the tints, the colors, the glasses. I actually like that. Turn it up, turn it down. And it kind of, see how that color matches that rim lighting? So I'm gonna go with that one. Just off the strength, it looks good. Sometimes I go and I throw a little gradient behind it. And if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, how to make gradients in Procreate, you should check those out. I will have those links in the bio as well as on top of the screen if you wanna check those out. So I'm really just freestyling at this point. Let's do this right here. Since that's kind of the color in the background. Oops. Turn this down so. Purple, purple will work. And like an in-between color, and like yellow or orange. However, you, however you want to do it, y'all. It's not not a real right or wrong way to do this. Like I said before. There's so many textures I have in here I can use. Um, a lot of them are downloaded, but just, just for the sake of this, let's see what I can put together.
All right, y'all, here you have it. It's an illustration of myself. I took a picture that I had stored on my iPad, uploaded it to Procreate, did a sketch, did an outline, added color, added some shadow, added some lighting, and boom, this would have turned out uh, to be. I, I like it. I would use it um, for Instagram, for Facebook, whatever I would want to use it for. I think I, this is this will pass. This looks pretty good. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like. Secondly, if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend you subscribe because I do stuff like this all the time. And if you want to learn and grow and develop and get some cool insight on how to illustrate or do anything creative, this is the channel for you. I highly recommend it. No pressure, but it'll be nice. All right, so please subscribe, do that for me. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. It's okay to trace as long as it's your face. Um, I did not mean for that to happen, but I said it. <laughs> I appreciate you watching the video to the end, if you were still here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.